Alright, so we've got Annie out here and she's, uh, we've got a bunch of silhouette goose decoys just like we did with Colt. Um, she's been out here running around with these decoys. I let her out with my older dog, um, Jane. Uh, and Jane kind of taught them not to mess with the decoys because she just ignored them and didn't make a big deal of it. And so they didn't make a big deal of it. And then uh, Annie tried to go over and sniff one and bite at it a little bit. I just said, uh-uh, come here. And she left it alone after that. Then I just started walking through the decoys, ignoring them, not making any big thing of it. And guess what? She learned to ignore them. So now um, that she's not paying attention to them, we'll play a little fetch in the middle here to show you what she's doing with her fetch. So we're going to try to keep it under five retrieves right now. She's 16, month, 16 weeks old. We're going to try to keep it under five retrieves. Really fun retrieve. So Annie, come here. Make sure there's no poop underneath you before you get on your knees. Good girl. Hey, baby. Good job. Good job. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to lure her around. Annie. Get her interested in the retrieve first. She overshot it a little bit. She should come back into it. Okay, she missed it. That's fine. What we'll do is we'll walk out there and help her out. That's how we handle it if the dog misses uh, misses the mark, comes back to you, um, doesn't know where the retrieve has been at this age. All right, come here, baby. Hey. Annie. Good girl, good girl. So I'm going to tap on my chest. Oh, what a good dog. So she's holding it right here, and I'm just petting her head. Out. Good. I say clear out command when I take it out. When she comes in, I'm just holding and petting her right here. So Annie. Woo, Annie. That's a good one. It's right in the shallow grass. Good girl, good girl. Good. Right in, holding it nicely, as you can see. I just pet her, take it off. Good girl. Annie. That's the last one I'll do right there. Let's see if she finds it. She can work with her nose. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> they try to run around you. Just grab it off them. Good girl. And hold them right here. Let them chew on it. Oh, good girl. Good girl. For this last one, I'm going to just throw a short one. Annie. Good job. Those dogs barking, did they startle you? But she's got a nice little hold right out in front of me doing great. I just pet her up while she holds it. I'm not making her sit. I'm just letting her hold it and have fun uh, and love on her while she does it so that she's a happy camper and she loves bringing anything that she gets into my lap. Getting down on your knees, getting down on the dog's level helps them a ton. If your dog is struggling, bringing it in or you need to add a little bit more enthusiasm, you can lean forward and go like that and then lean back that can help the dog bring it in but at this point in time if you've been doing what I've uh, instructed you um, then you shouldn't have any problems uh, with the dog one uh, bringing the bringing the ball in or bringing the bumper into you good girl she said I smell dummies in there let me get them and so I'm ending this session while she still wants more she's still engaged with me she's looking at me like hey I want to do more, but it's hot outside, and I can tell she's panting really bad. So I don't want to do too much more because guess what will happen? Eventually, she's going to lay down out there and 